Patrol to Dangor. Patrol to Dangor. This is Dangor. Go ahead, Jungle Jim. Located Hawk's Nest, ready to move in. Good work. Make it a clean sweep. I'll do my best. Over and off. I told you not to play with guns. <laughs> Patrol to Dangor. Patrol to Dangor. This is Danger. Go ahead, patrol. Mission accomplished. That tip-off we got paid off, Major. We managed to surprise them completely. None of the foreign agents escaped. Excellent. Make a thorough search of the place. Turn over anything you find to intelligence and report here. Right. Over and off. Did you hear that, Dr. Parker? A clean sweep. I didn't miss a thing, Major. Code that for immediate transmission to staff operations. Yes, sir. Well, Major, you've no doubt been wondering about the scientific expedition I brought in here last week. Well, it's no secret that you're the top radiological expert, so that you, you didn't come here to collect butterflies. No, I didn't. But I wasn't free to tell anyone of my project until I was sure that all foreign spies had been cleared out of this area. Uh-huh. And now that they have been? We're going to conduct Jungle Project X, the first Anglo-American atom bomb test in Africa. Oh, really? 
where and when? Right there on Tolonga Island. But Tolonga is inhabited. The natives will have to be removed to the mainland, just temporarily. Their village will be rebuilt. Can't we find another spot and avoid all that trouble? We wish to study the effect of radiation on certain plant life. Our survey shows Tulonga to be the perfect place for that. Well, how soon do you want them moved? As soon as possible. Jungle Jim will be here tomorrow. He's the best man for the job. Meanwhile, Major, for security purposes, can you stop all traffic to the island? <laughs> Nobody goes there but traders. But I'll put out an order right away to stop everybody. Sergeant. Listen, Major, what harm could it do to let us and our bearers through to the island? Croman, I've given the orders. Tulonga is closed to everybody. For how long? I don't know. A couple of months, maybe longer. Tulonga is our last stop, Major. Our bearers are tired and restless. If they quit us now, we'll be stranded. But I've told you that Tulonga are moving to this area. You can rest your men and save yourselves a trip. In all my years in the jungle, this is the strangest thing I ever heard. Moving the whole tribe. What for? Do I ask you what you get for a bolt of cloth or a string of beads? Of course not, but... Then that's it. You can stay or leave. Take your choice. And now, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, I have work to do. Thanks, Major. You've been a great help. Let's move on, Bruno. Tough man, that Major. Yeah, but now we have an appointment with somebody who isn't so tough. Looks like he's on time, too. Oh, sorry, friend. Pick up your packs, we're moving out. Inside. Mm, glad to see you didn't disappoint me, Benick. Did I have any choice? <laughs> This is a free country. Drink? Why do you keep looking at me as if I were a ghost or something? According to Jungle Jim, you should be. He said that every agent in that raid last night was killed. Oh, oh that's it. Well, Jungle Jim is a good man, and I let him in on a good thing. You let him in? It wasn't the little bird that sent the anonymous tip to the patrol. Oh, it's simple, Benick. Think of it as a chess game. I sacrifice a few men to make Dr. Parker feel free to make his move, and that's what you're here to talk about. Incredible. Organized murder. Anything to further your spying and propaganda. You sound as if you were tired of living. No, I'm not tired of living. But I'm sick to death of you and every specimen like you. Now listen, Benick. Think whatever you like, but remember this. You still got a wife and family, and if you want them to stay healthy, keep your mouth shut and do whatever I tell you. Is that clear? Now that we understand each other, let's have the information I ask you to bring. American headquarters, North Africa. Jungle Project. X. Atom bomb test. Tulonga Island. That's why the natives had to be moved off the island. Now that you've got what you want, can I go? Yes, but keep this in mind. One word in the wrong place will mean you're finished.
tell the men to get ready. We're going to the island. But what about Major Walsh's orders to stay off the island? Oh, we'll worry about that if he catches us. I wonder what will happen to the atom bomb test if the natives refuse to move. Well, then the atom bomb couldn't be dropped. Right. In the meantime, we must get to those natives before Jungle Jim does. And the start of Project X depends entirely on how soon you can move the natives over to their new camp. How long do you think it'll take to move them? Four or five days, if everything goes all right. Do you know of any reason why they shouldn't? Well, the Tulunga are a very superstitious tribe. They've lived on that island for generations. They've never set foot on the mainland. Well, that's why you're being sent. Do you understand them better than anyone? I hope I can make them understand the atom bomb. Will that cover everything? No, there's one other item. There's someone I want you to meet. <laughs> <laughs> You little devil. <laughs> You'll stunt your growth. Come on, give it to me. Come on. Thank you. Oh, hello, Miss Harris. We were just going to call on you. Uh, Jungle Jim, this is Miss Joan Harris, the other item in your assignment. How do you do? I didn't know you'd recruited any women for this project. Miss Harris is the field representative of the World Health Organization. Sounds important, but what's it got to do with the natives? I'm going with you to inoculate them. Inoculate them? Wouldn't it be great if you had a serum that would make them understand why they're being moved off the island? I suppose it would. But at the present time, the most we can do is take every precaution to make sure they stay healthy. Can't do them any harm, but you're in for a long, rough hike. Oh, that's all right. I used to be a campfire girl. <laughs> any other items, sir? No, no, that's it. How soon can you be ready? I'm all packed. Good, and we can move right out. Well, good luck to both of you. Goodbye, Tamba. Goodbye and good luck. <laughs> Tamba, come here. You know better than that, ladies first. disappointed in the jungle. You are? In what way? Well, I always imagined it to be such a, well, such a wild and untamed place. So far, I haven't seen anything wilder than your friend Tamba. When we get to the island, you might be in for quite a surprise. Tamba, put that down. Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> Tamba, give it to me. understand every word you say. Gotta be a little more careful. Our friend here is very sensitive. My apologies, Tamba. This looks like a nice place to take a break. There's a long, rough stretch ahead. I could use a rest. You wait here. Tamba and I will get some refreshments. Hey, 
Grandma, go up and get some coconut. Who on earth? Take it easy, Tamma, one at a time. <laughs> carrying case with the vaccine. I must have forgotten it. Oh, that's great. We'll have to go back. Dangor happens to be a day away from here. We have to go on without it. I didn't mean that. I must have left it where we stopped to rest. Oh, I'm sure I can find it if we go back there. We should have tied a bell on it. Something else has been added. I ain't gonna fight anybody over anything. Couldn't have picked a better place to leave it. before they bring Amber. Uh, think nothing of it, Wamai. I know that as long as you are the chief, they can be trusted.
Greetings, Romai. Welcome to our village, Jungle Jim. Bring wife this time. We have big Luana to celebrate your good fortune. Sorry to disappoint you, but Miss Harris is not wife, just friend. We have big Luana just the same. Many friends come today. You know Croman? Yes. And I'd like to know what you're doing here. Oh, the usual thing, trading goods for Amber. Isn't it unusual after you were ordered to stay off the island by Major Walsh? Now, Jim, you know I didn't mean any harm. It's just that this was my last trip, and I didn't want to miss the boat out on Magamba. See, here's my ticket. Yes, Colonel. Just to make sure you don't miss the boat, start packing now. Wait. Sorry, Chief, I can't argue with Jungle Jim. Why you send him away? We have much trading to do. Are you and I friends, Chief? Many years. And you know I wouldn't do anything unless I had a very good reason. Let's go inside. I'll tell you all about it. Bruno, take it all and start packing. No trade. Take goods. We go. Why you do this? Jungle Jim has ordered me to move out, so I can't wait around till you bring in the amber. No amber, no goods. We are not the only ones who must leave the island, Lutembi. Jungle Jim is fixing it up with the chief to move you all away. This island, our home. Great spirits of Tulanga live here. Great spirits of the jungle watch over us. Bring many good things. Why should we leave? Who knows? Jungle Jim will tell many lies. Your chief is old. He thinks like a child and will believe everything. Lutembe not old. That's why I'm warning you. Talk to your men. Be ready to defy the chief and Jungle Jim when they tell the villagers the news. You good friend, don't go. We do much trading. I will speak with tongue of fire. Me, Omandai, Itulanga, Dina, Retinamo, Esnugamo, Nanati, Set Reni, Set Reni Tabo, Savar! What's he saying? Plenty. He doesn't approve of the idea of being moved off the island. Berkadur, Gorga, Ulman, Watamba! 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 Looks like he's convinced quite a few of them, too. Yeah, but not all of them. A lot of good that does us. What's that for? It's a Telunga way of settling an argument. Man-to-man -man combat. The natives will follow whoever wins the fight. Surely you're not going to go through... I can't lose face with the natives. That's a lot better than losing your head. I'll try not to.
All right, Mamai. Tell them to line up in front of your hut for Miss Harris's medicine. Oh. Let's not take too long with this inoculation. Yes, sir. I'll get cleaned up. Well, it looks like Project X gets underway after all. I wouldn't bet on that, Bruno. There's still a long ways from Dangor, and plenty can happen to change their minds about going there. Mango! Maybe you try Jungle Jim first. <laughs> What's holding you up here? You. Me? If you want to get through with this, you had better be first. But I've been inoculated six times. Then this will make it seven. <laughs> hey, go on. This is only for people. Never trust a woman, Tambo. You want to get tired? A little. How much longer will it take to get back to Danger? I won't say till we get there. Superstitious? No, it's just that in the jungle you can never tell what can happen. What's all the fuss about? Look, Davino. Here, boy. See what I mean about the jungle? They look harmless enough. Not to the natives. To them, it's a sign of evil spirits. Forget about it, Lutembi. They're dead. They can't hurt anyone. No. Evil spirits do much harm. But the jungle crossing is just on the other side of the trail. There's nothing between it can hurt you. No. Not go. All right. Supposing we scout the trail ahead and see that it's clear. Will you go then? We see. Kasi! <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of.
is he? Can't tell yet. He's been torn up pretty bad. He's lost an awful lot of blood. Siafa Wamai. Siafa Tulanga. Siafa Tulanga. Siafa Tulanga. Siafa Tulanga. What are they moaning about? Death and evil spirits. Our chief is dead. Great Siafa, come take us all. We go back to village. Not leave island. Joan, you think we can pull the chief through? 50-50. Listen, Lutembe, and all of you, your chief is not dead. He can be made well again. We believe when we see. You'll see, but you must give me your word that you will go on to Dangor as soon as he's able to walk again. Thomas. Kumalo! Managamo, Kumalo! We better go back to the mainland. But what if Wamai recovers? With Jim sitting over him like a mother hen, there isn't anything more we can do. Take it easy, Chief. You'll be all right. You make magic medicine. Make good life. <laughs> a good night's rest, and he should be able to make it to the Channel Crossing tomorrow. Tell your people to sleep well. Tomorrow we cross the water to Dangar. Dayuna Kanusa Banka. Paina. You go now. Follow the trail, Wamai. You'll find men there to show you where to camp. Find way. We'll go to the post and find many things for Big Luana. Bye now. And except for a few minor incidents that delayed us, the natives came across from the island in good shape. Excellent. Good work, Jim. He's being very modest about those minor incidents. If it were up to me, I'd pin a medal on Jim for what he did. Now we can consider Project X officially underway. Code this and radio staff operations immediately. How soon will the bombing take place? Oh, a few days, I expect. We'll be notified in advance of the zero hour. Mm -hmm. Meantime, I'd like to check the native camp, make sure everything's in order. Why, of course, Jim will take you out there. Sure. I came as soon as I could, for all the good this information can do you now. I suppose it pleases you, huh? You can't blame me for what happened. I told you before that you couldn't stop Project X from getting underway. Who is blaming you for anything? We all make mistakes. 
I'm surprised to hear you admit that, since this ends your mission in Dangor. A mistake is only something that has to be corrected. And it so happens that I can turn this temporary failure to an advantage you never dreamed of. But how? When the time comes, Bennett, you will know the details. You'll hear from me as soon as I need you again. I'm just as curious as your friend Bennick. What do you have in mind? A plan. A plan to turn this atom bomb test into a massacre of the entire Tulonga tribe. What are you talking about? The island is a target area, and the natives are here on the mainland. Then all we need is something to get the natives back to the island when the bomb is dropped. Yes, but here's your answer. A message to our agents across the border in Uganda. Radioactive dust? Yes, a special chemical formula developed in our laboratories as byproduct of uranium research. But won't that kill them? No. A plane can spray the native encampment area on the mainland with just enough dust to make them sick. I'll take care of the rest. That's the beginning, Bruno. The beginning of a propaganda story that will make Anglo-Americans wish they never thought of this atomic bomb test. And I'm going to show you what can happen with a prisoner if you're not on your toes. Johnson, you'll be the guard. Come at me. <laughs> now I'll show you defense against it. Jungle Jim. <laughs> you want to try it again? No, that'll be all for today. What's the big rush? The Major had a report that some of the natives are sick. He said you wouldn't mind driving me out there. You don't mind, do you? And if I did? We'd go anyway. <laughs> Yeah. 
So this is why you bring us here from Myland. From a safe journey, bring only sickness. Look, Lutembe, whatever we promise, you'll get. And if your people are sick, we'll do everything we can to make them well again. You think this could be the result of the inoculations? No, there's no fever. But their skin seems to be very irritated. Might be some jungle fungus they picked up on a trail. Uh, I don't know. But I've got some penicillin and some sulfur drugs back at the post. That should help them. No harm in trying. We'll bring back medicine to take away their sickness. White man's medicine evil. Bring more sickness. Soon we dry up like leaves on tree. All die. My people have much fear. They won't go back to Longa Island. They can't, well, my. You must make them understand that. Believe me, Chief, this is nothing serious. They'll all be better before tomorrow morning. I believe you speak truth. Bring medicine soon. We will. What is that, Dr. Parker? It's a special type of radiation detector. I'm going to use it to measure the atomic radiation effects after the bomb test. Hello, Jim. Back so soon? Couldn't make it soon enough. The natives have been hit by some strange sickness. And many of them? Enough to make it look as though it might be an epidemic. We've got to do something fast beginning to grumble about going back to the island. Well, you're the health representative, Miss Harris. Have you any suggestions? I thought I might try some sulfur drugs to start with. Tambo! Give me that. What do you want to do, break it? Knock down off the door. Come on. I'll leave it here. Just a minute. There's something very peculiar here. Excuse me. What's all this about, Parker? This instrument is sensitive to the slightest energy waves given off by radioactive particles. It is the only thing that could have started clicking when I held it close to Jim and Joan. But why just us? I'm not sure, except that you two have been out to the Tulanka camp, and we haven't. It's possible you came in contact with some radioactive substance there. If that area is contaminated with some radioactive material, that could very likely be the cause of the native sickness. I'll have to go out to the camp area and make a thorough check before we can take any remedial action. I'll go with you. In the meantime, Major, it would be wise to permit no one to leave the post area. I'll issue an order to that effect immediately. Major, I think I'll go see if I can be of any help to Joan and Dr. Parker. Good idea, Jim, but before you go, stop by and see Bennett. He received a message from staff operations, and maybe for Dr. Parker. You could take it to him. I'll do that. Shh. So loud. They're coming with 
me. And bring that code message with you. What for? Croman will answer all your questions. But I... I said you're coming with me. It's a pleasure to see you, Bennett. I don't see why you had to bring me here. We've been monitoring your radio contact with staff operations and wanted to be sure we received that code message before anyone else did. Where is it? Zero hour for Project X, 0600 hours. Enforced radio silence except in extreme emergency. Excellent. The Tulonga tribe will be back on the island with time to spare. Is the camera equipment ready? Yes. We'll take the telephoto shots of the bombing and still photographs of the massacre of the natives on the island. Start taking the equipment up the hill. Won't be long now before the whole world shall see how Anglo Americans use human guinea pigs for their so called peaceful atomic test. <laughs> it will never get that far, Croman. I think they found out what's wrong with the natives. Parker is checking their camp right now to make sure. And if he finds out. I just had a long talk with Lutembi. Nothing is going to stop the natives from going back to the island now. And I'm going to see to it personally that they get there. But if that happens, the atom bomb won't be dropped. And who is going to stop it? Dr. Parker. As soon as he gets back to the post, and I give him this message. I have a surprise for you, Bennett. Dr. Parker is not going back to the post. And neither are you. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Croman. What are you doing here, Benny? I... Uh... This message from staff operations was stolen from my hut by some native after I decoded it. Why didn't you raise an alarm? I didn't have time. So I went after him myself, that this is where the trail led. For someone who was so anxious to get out of Magambo a week ago, Croman, you've got a lot of explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jim. I missed the boat out of Magamba, so I came back here to do some trading with the natives. How'd this get here? He brought it, wanted to pay me for taking the message across the border. It's a lie. He blackmailed me into bringing him the information about Project X. I don't care what happens to me now, Croman, but you're not going to get away with this masquerade any longer. I'll tell you.
You see how sick your people are, Chief? If you don't go back to the island, they will all die. Chief, go tell them. Go. What did you find out? It seems as though this whole area has been contaminated with radioactive particles. Oh, how is that possible? I don't know. But the natives must be moved from here immediately before every one of them becomes affected. Oh, I wish Jungle Jim were here. I'll try my best to explain to the chief. Chief, I know you're worried about your people, and we are too. But if you'll move them back to Danger Post, I can promise you there'll be no more sickness. We not stay in Dango. We go back to Island. You can't do that. You gave Jungle Jim your word. Jungle Jim not our friend now. He bring us here to die. Oh, that's not true. If not true, where is Jungle Jim? Why he not come? He know evil spirit of great Siyafa here. He have much fear. We have much fear, too. We go back. It's no use, Joan. They're in a better mood. Nothing you say will make them change their minds. Chief, listen. We'll bring Jungle Jim here. You lie. Make sure we have no trouble get past patrol at Dangor Post. You come with us. Back to island. And come on, Chief, you've got to listen to me. You can't go back there. Come on! We got a lot of the Gossi! We've been looking all over for you. What happened? Well, here's part of the story, a decoded message from staff operations. Zero hour, Project X, 0600 hours, enforced radio silence, except an extreme emergency. Where'd you find this? In an old hut in the jungle. I followed Bennick's trail and found him there with Croman. Croman? What business could Bennick have had with him? Well, that's the other part of the story we'll have to get from Bennick when he comes to. I made up my mind not to give Croman the message, no matter what happened. But Bruno came here and forced me to go along with him. What did Croman want with this information? To prove to the world that we use human beings for our atomic experiments. That's why he stirred up the natives to go back to the island, so they'll all be killed by the bomb. It's incredible. No matter what Croman stirred up, we'll stop the natives. Do you think they will be able to handle it? They understand. Guns. Put down guns, or they die. We go back to island, Jungle Jim. You can't, Wamai. You promised. We speak with true heart. You with false tongue. The great fire god will destroy you all if you go back to the island now. Island our home. Great Tulaga spirit protect us. Now listen to me. No more talk. Now we go. If they come with us. You try to stop us, they die. Let them pass.
There's only one way to save their lives, Jim. Call a halt to the bombing. What happened here? A couple of the natives attacked me. Are you all right now? Yeah, I'm all right now. Well, see if you can get this radio together and contact Operations X. Frequency 163. Well, these radio parts scatter around like that. It won't be easy, Major. Well, let's start picking them up. Camera, give me those tubes. Wait for me outside. Come along. The Tembi, I want to wish you a happy journey. You good friend. Soon you'll come to village. We have much amber to trade. Very soon. And we won't forget you. No, we won't forget them. And neither will the entire world after they see our pictures of the Tulonga massacre. In color, too. It's no use, sir. The radio's shot and we haven't got another one. Uh, there's only one way out, Johnson. We've got to take the patrol out and stop them from getting off the mainland. You sacrifice Joan and Dr. Parker? Well, it's better than sitting here knowing that they'll be killed by the bomb blast in exactly three hours when they get to the island. Listen, Major. I've got an idea. If I cut across Dangar Canal, I can reach the channel crossing ahead of the natives. Then what? I think I've got a way to stop the natives from leaving the island without endangering Joan and Dr. Parker. You alone? With your permission, sir. All right, Jim. It's all yours. And good luck. <laughs> What's the matter? This is Uncle Jim. Well, it looks like he's in an awful rush to get someplace. I think we can help it. Why? What difference does it make now where he's going? That's the difference I don't want to risk. Come on.
send our folks away. To save your lives. No, you want us to stay here to die. We kill you first. All right, no time to kill us. But when the great firebird come at dawn, you will know that I have spoken the truth, and you will be murderers, all of you. Well, what are you waiting for? We build rafts. By morning, great firebird not come, we kill you and go back to Ireland. Come on, Kalkita! No longer night. Pipe and look, come. You must die. Tell them to face away from the island. Watonga Longa. Dr. Parker, I guess we can say Jungle Project X has started in a blaze of glory. I'm glad we're in a position where we can see it. Jim, it's only the beginning. You mean we got to do this all over again? Not right away, but at other times, in other places, wherever free men seek to find the weapons of peace. It's all over. 